Aloha and welcome to another edition of Business in Hawaii. I am Daylan Yanagita and we are broadcasting live from the Think Tech Studios in downtown Honolulu. If you want to tune in live, we are at www.thinktechhawaii.com. You can also sign up to get on our mailing list there as well. The theme of Business in Hawaii is to bring you stories of local businesses by local people. And our guests share with us their journey to building successful businesses in our sometimes challenging business environment. In the Think Tech studios today is Joni Tamayo Wilson from Employee Benefit Consulting LLC. Joni, welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm so excited to have you here. And I know that what you do is a, a little unknown and a lot of people have a lot of questions. So sure. Employee Benefit Consulting, what is that? Um, well, first of all, thank you for inviting me. I feel I'm very appreciative of this opportunity. Um, benefit consulting is when, you know, we're talking to the employers and employees about all, anything that they need to know about employee benefits. So um, there's some, like, situations where employers are um, looking at finding out how to um, go about getting just medical insurance or even dental insurance on their plans and also like employees are trying to understand you know what what does the medical benefit do for me or what does um you know another benefit like the dental or the life benefit do for me so um on on our show we talk to a lot of business owners a lot of startup businesses a lot of entrepreneurs mm -hmm. um and they're piecing together all the little parts that they need to know about getting their business started yes. or maybe they're growing um, so when would someone need a, a benefits consultant? Is it an individual thing? Is it for a certain size group? How does that go? Well, you know, anytime um, a person wants to start a business, you know, we would be there even from the startup. Um, so basically, you can actually just give us a call anytime, you know, for startups to learn how to um, turn in all your paperwork into the state understanding um, what are the mandated benefits that are needed when you start hiring employees. So that is another time when, um, when groups call us or when um, a company is already established and they have employees already and they may be want, wanting to um, enhance, enhance their employee benefit packages. So they can call us at that time too and we'll do a review of your um, employee benefits and see whether you know, it is viable to get um, enhanced benefits for your employees as well as maybe you know looking at that to hire prospective employees um, so say for example I'm, I'm a startup business mm -hmm. I haven't built anything um, say it's just me so far mm -hmm. I intend to hire some employees what is your advice um, in terms of getting them started on on employee benefits? Well, I mean, when you start off, you know, for an individual, depending on, um, you know, as, as how soon you want to have employees with you, um, it'll start to be in stages. So then we can actually help um, sole proprietors or individuals um, go through all the paperwork and all the stages of what needs to be done to make sure you stay compliant as a sole proprietor with benefits. And then as you grow um, into adding employees, then we'll be there also to, um, with all the other uh, paperwork and making sure there's, you know, making sure you're compliant when you're hiring employees. I think what's so. wonderful is that you're there for the journey with, yes. with a business owner mm -hmm. um, from the startup um, and, and while they're growing. So you're scalable. And right. I think that's, that's a wonderful relationship to, to build. I do know that a relationship with your broker is really important. Yes. Tell, tell me about the, the business owner broker relationship. Well, I think it's more like, um, you know, we over here, it's Ohana, right, of course. And when, you're, when we're working or servicing or helping our clients, you know, we consider ourselves part of your company. So we're almost like part of your HR or part of um, maybe you need some information on looking at you know, prospective employees, like I said. So we just, you know, we develop our relationships from the very first time that, you know, you meet with us. And then we just decide, you know, we start to grow along with you. Any pains, any challenges that you may have, then, 
you know, we are there to um, research that for you and um, provide solutions, problem solving, as we say. So I know I might be stealing a little bit of your advice here, but as a startup, what are some of the triggers that I have to keep in mind as I'm starting my business and hiring employees? I mean, is there a magic number of employees and then I have to offer something? Uh, I, the state has um, certain laws about sure. benefits. Right, so <laughs> let's, let's just start with- Free um, consulting. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you know, if you first start as an um, individual, um, there's everything from um, filing your information for your company, um, and then the taxes. You know, we 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 would just make sure that you're you're understanding that there is taxes that need to be filed as well. But when you start to look at employees, you want to start hiring employees. There are some Hawaii um, employer mandates that you need to offer to your employees. So the one of the mandates is um, the workers' compensation, of course. When you have employees, you're going to have to look into that. And that would be um, one factor. The other factor is um, what we call temporary disability insurance. And as soon as an employee starts from date of hire, then you need to have that TD, it's called TDI um, insurance. Um, but then once you have your employees established and they've been working for you for several weeks, so say that according to the uh, mandate for the Prepaid Health Care Act um, for your medical benefits, if an, if an employee works 20 plus hours or more per week for four consecutive weeks, then employers are mandated to offer medical coverage. So that's when you need to start looking into, if you already know that your employees are going to be working 20 plus hours or more, then you need to start looking into um, the different insurance carriers that are available here that are approved in the state of Hawaii that offer the medical insurance that you need to be offering to your employees. So is that what you help with? You yes. do that legwork where you, you're calling the carriers and, and talking about starting up benefit plans? Yes. So depending on the size of the group, we have several carriers here that we go to to get the quote or to get a proposal on their medical insurance, depending on the um, demographics of the employees. And so, as a business owner, do I have any control over costs or? And that's always going to be my concern. I know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's very challenging. It's very challenging for small employer groups. And that's why we're, you know, we're here to kind of explain to them that um, because of these mandated benefits, the medical insurance has changed a lot in terms of premiums and rates over the years. And so um, for a small business, it is really going to be, you can't really have negotiation on the premium rates. So, you know, just for example, we turn in, um, you know, we turn in a quote to request from an insurance carrier for maybe five employees. And from that five employees, because it's small business, it's a small, um, yeah, like I said, a small business, they're going to take a look at the demographics, meaning the date of birth of the ages of all the employees. And from their um, insurance carriers, the medical insurance carriers will provide a quote based on those. And it is going to be based on age-based rates. So does it matter then what carrier I go to or? N no. <laughs> Actually, it's it's more of um, preference, you know. You know, we have several um, insurance carriers here, but then it comes down to sometimes the employer's preference on where who they want to go with. Um, so, I mean, everybody here knows the the, um, the bigger insurance carriers like HMSA and Kaiser, and there's also UHA and HMAA. So, at what point um, am I able to have some ability to negotiate a, a benefit rate? That would be more closer to 50 employees or more, or even higher than that. And that's when um, employee benefit consulting can help with the negotiations going forward on the premium rates um, for renewal period every year. So the bigger you are as far as an employer group, the more you're able to negotiate the rates with the insurance. Nice. So 
As a startup business owner, I need to make sure that I have workers' comp, mm -hmm. compensation insurance, temporary disability insurance, and then, of course, if I have employees who work over 20 hours a week, the medical insurance. Yes. Now, with the medical insurance, does that include, does it have to include certain things like, like dental coverage or tuition reimbursement? No, oh, no. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> so, um, again, depending that on... that gives me a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, no, I know, I understand that too. <laughs> but depending on the size of your group, okay? So, uh, 50 and under, uh, they are going to be offered, you have to offer medical, drug, vision, and dental. And this kind of ties into... Um, you know, you're, you're complying with the Prepaid Health Care Act here in the state of Hawaii, but that also ties into the um, Affordable Care Act as a federal, yeah, the federal register. So that's for 50 and over? 50 and under. 50 and under, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so the Affordable Care Act, <laughs> I think that's on the mind of quite a few people, um, and I know that it's been called different things. Mm -hmm. For the past few years, right. it's been called Obamacare, right. it's been called health care reform. Um, and then, of course, with the Trump administration mm -hmm. um, wanting to overturn some of that, can you give us an update about where that is and if you have an opinion on where, where it's going, <laughs> where it's going to end up? Well, I, first I can say that it has been... Um, it just adds a little bit more, um, it's very interesting. <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> to say the least. Right? Um, you know, with the Affordable Care Act, what it does is it, it adds another dimension to looking at your medical coverage through employer groups. Um, like I said, we have the Prepaid Health Care Act here, which, you know, provides very rich benefits. Um, and then... Because of the Affordable Care Act or Obamacare that came on, um, then we're actually, you know, our job is to look at them both. And we're actually looking at two different, two different regulations and then finding out which one is the richer one. So most likely a lot of it right now is the Prepaid Health Care Act that is richer. Um, but then there's certain, um, certain laws in the, in the Affordable Care Act that we need to be looking at too. Now, Going forward, every year, ever since it started, has been um, has been challenging again too. But what we've seen over the past is that you know they are trying to change certain areas of the Affordable Care Act. But really, when it comes down to it, for the Hawaii employ um, employers, you know we always go back to the Prepaid Health Care Act. Um, for the future of the Affordable Care Act, I would say that. It's more of a, just a wait and see because there's all these changes that want to be introduced to the ACA. And then it's the actual really looking um, in the deep dive of when it becomes a final regulation. So there, there's going to be gaps as it moves along. And then we're going to have to compare it with the prepaid to see where that all fits. That sounds like it's going to keep you very busy. Yes, <laughs> very it busy. is. <laughs> um, I want to know all about Employee Benefit Consulting, LLC, um, and of course, how you found yourself in such a career. Um, but before we do that, we're going to take a quick break. Sure. So we will see you back right after that break. This is Business in Hawaii. Aloha, I'm Cynthia Sinclair. And I'm Tim Apicella. We are hosts here at Think Tech Hawaii, a digital media company serving the people of Hawaii. We provide a video platform for citizen journalists to raise public awareness in Hawaii. We are a Hawaii nonprofit that depends on the generosity of its supporters to keep on going. We'd be grateful if you go to thinktechhawaii.com and make a donation to support us now. Thanks, Thanks so much. So much. Aloha and welcome to At the Crossroads. I'm your host, Tisha King. You can catch me every Wednesday, alive at five. I'll see you there. Welcome back to Business in Hawaii. Joining us today is consultant. 
Yoni Tamayo Wilson from EBC Hawaii. Yoni, <laughs> so many great tidbits um, for entrepreneurs, startup businesses, business owners to take away about some of the things that they have to do um, right. when they're starting to hire employees. Um, my question for you is, how did you find yourself in, in, in this career? <laughs> I, um, is it something you go to school for? Do you choose to be a benefits consultant? How does, how does that happen? Okay, so um, actually I started, when, um, I started as an underwriter for a couple of the health insurance carriers here. Okay, so I'm a numbers person, so I figured I could get into something like that, calculate the premium rates, look at the claims experience, look what the premiums came in, and then kind of um, calculate the loss ratio, then the rate calculations based on that, that's your premium rate. So that was pretty straightforward numbers. Um, and then later on, I decided to move into the consulting side. And um, what I learned is that premium rate calculations are just one small segment of providing benefits to employers. You know, we, you know, I started listening to the employers and understanding the whole dynamics of how they're building their business, what they, you know, what, what are the challenges that they need to do. So. It, it became more of understanding, you know, what is mandated that needs to be done for employer groups, and then also just expanding to see what else, you know, I can do to help employers, you know, make sure that they stay in business because of all of these mandates, because of all of the benefits that they need to offer, as well as um, looking at ways and solutions. So it's, it's, it's still problem solving, but ways and solutions to maintain you know, um, their employee base. And so, I, you know, our thing is, you know, we're like a business to business um, company. And, you know, we want the employer groups to do what they need to do for their business. That's, how, that's why they got into business in the first place. And so we, were, we would be the ones in the back, you know, the back office helping them understand how to move along with the employee benefits. And I find that, you know, I, I find, you know, I have a passion for it now. I mean, it's just, it's really, like I said, problem solving to find what they need to do, but then they just have to worry about, you know, getting their business up and going. Um, you're a strategic partner is what you right. are with, with, a, with a business um, to help them to align to, to their goals mm -hmm. because uh, employee benefits is not just, laws and regulations and what you have to provide. Right. But you're mentioning enhanced benefits that really can build employee engagement, um, retention, or a recruitment tool to attract great talent to yes. your organizations, which is why I think what you do is such an um, um, amazing partnership between mm -hmm. their, their broker and the business owner to help them align to, to their ultimate goals. Right, and I agree too. I mean, there's. When you start to get to be a bigger business, you know, you want to enhance your employee benefit package, right? And um, one of our other services that we do also is, you know, we do the presentations for open enrollment. And, you know, open enrollment is when um, employees get a chance to change their benefits that they already have. Um, you know, and this is done once a year. Uh, what we like about doing open enrollment um, sessions is that, you know, sure, you may have all these um, different medical insurance carriers, and sometimes the presentations, you want to have someone that's um, unbiased in presenting everything. And that's one of the best things that, you know, to do when you're doing an open enrollment presentation is to provide all the information that you need for, you know, to the employees on what they have with the company. Um, but we, we kind of take it a little step further. And once we see what kind of benefits you have, then we kind of, you know, we tell in the presentation how, how they all tie in. You know, if you need your medical insurance and, and then all of a sudden you're looking at you have a supplemental product like um, critical illness, how they all tie in and what can, you know, we try and guide um, employees on maximizing their whole em employee benefit packet. Um, so another value to me then as a business owner would be that you become a part of, of, my, of my team, of my brand. 
-hmm. And then you're taking care of my employees by helping yes. them to understand their benefits so that I, I don't have to fully understand them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and, and that you can go ahead and answer those questions. And especially right. since with medical benefits, it, it does become personal for a lot of folks mm -hmm. who may be dealing with um, pre-existing conditions or what have you, yes. which they may not feel comfortable talking to their boss about or their employer about. Mm -hmm. So at, at least there, there's you who they can have that conversation with. Mm -hmm. Yes, and you know, that we also open up our doors and them, you know, they can call us anytime, right? So if there's any situations that you know, they couldn't get a hold of an insurance carrier because they submitted a claim or something's wrong with their billing, it, whether it's employer or employee, we will be there to guide them along to make sure that um, the problem is solved. Um, you have an amazing team yes. at Employee Benefit Consulting, LLC. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we have a couple of pictures here of you and your partner. So um, your partner is Michelle Rodriguez. Okay. Yes. And um, the both of you are yes, we're here partners. or... Well, Michelle is in Kauai. Nice. And I, I'm here in um, Oahu. And so um, EBC actually started um, with Ladra Eber in the, 19, in the 80s. And um, Michelle and I, we have really expanded our services um, to be more, you know, to be a hands-on consultant with, like I said, employers and employees, um, communicating all the benefits out there as well as any changes um, to benefits, uh, compliance, and um, and other you know other issues that they may have with benefits. Um, so I do know that there are a couple of other members of your team, and I think mm -hmm. we have a picture of Mark here. Yeah, Mark is well known in the industry. <laughs> yes, um, we are very fortunate um, to have Mark Fukuhara. Mm -hmm. He um, he started with us this year in two thousand nineteen. And, you know, he, he is another strategic consultant that um, is highly respected. And oh, he, just um, amazing. he has brought, you know, a full experience and, um, you know, of his ex expertise. So it's a different his expertise thing. is unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. No. Unbelievable. Really um, and then, of course, you have yet another member of your team. Yes. So we have expanded, and this um, Jessica Mitchell. And she's our digital marketing manager and client service manager. Nice. So, um, you know, we've actually, um, you know, in addition to helping employers with their benefits, we've expanded to other services as, you know, as, um, as te technology is evolving to introducing um, clients and prospective clients to um, online benefit platforms, um, paperless management. So. You know, um, that's one thing that we are very um, we are very passionate about is introducing the technology. What we've noticed a lot of employer groups, everything is still paper based, but as we move forward, technology is changing, and so we need to change along with it to bring um, the, all this information in the forefront of the employer groups to move them along as well. You know, I think another thing that goes hand in hand when you're talking to employees about their health benefits, of course, is something we call wellness. <laughs> yes. And that's, you know, taking care of the whole, the whole person, of course. But it's also beneficial to the business owner because you also need to try your best to manage some, some of that risk. And I do know that... Um, Employee Benefit Consulting does a great job of putting out wellness programs, and I think we have a, um, a snapshot of something that went up on your um, yep. social media, your hashtag right. EBC makes yes. work-life balance. Can you share a little bit about that? And, you know, our, our team really believes in work-life balance. Um, you know, everyone works hard, but then everyone wants to play hard, or, you know, there's family that you want to be with, um, commuting time is challenging um, anywhere and everywhere. So, you know, that was one of our um, hashtags that we use in our Facebook posting. Um, EBC makes work-life balance. And so we, we post information on anything that we believe um, will help you balance your, you know, your life with work and even with personal life. So um, 
we just want to emphasize that as much as possible. There are numerous studies that show that happy people are healthier, mm -hmm. um, they're more productive, and so I think it just it makes so much sense to wrap up um, work-life balance to make sure that we're, we're working hard, but we're playing hard and we're taking care of ourselves. Right. So, I mean, it, any other ideas of you know, trying to work on a work-life balance, whether it's um, you know, working remotely, telecommuting, that's what we're, you know, we're really emphasizing because it just makes more sense nowadays, especially with the technology around. Um, EBC also goes a long way to make sure they're balanced. Yes. Um, and that is by um, giving back. Um, and doing mm -hmm. a lot of community, um, getting involved in the community sponsorships. And I think yes. we have um, a couple of photos here. Um, why don't you share with us uh, about this one? So um, Employee Benefit Consulting, we have been um, sponsoring some tennis events um, here in Hawaii for the past couple of years. And in fact, there's one of them is the night, um, Oahu Club Night Doubles, Men's Night Doubles in June. Another one is the tennis um, championship of Honolulu and then the one here which was um, just put on there with the tennis fireball tennis um, that was actually in um, one of the, um, the the biggest tennis tournaments now here is called the Hawaii Open which is in December so we're getting ready for that oh, nice. and that's um, when like top 20 um, the top 20 professional tennis players in the world come here to oh. enjoy Hawaii of course right but then they also get to play um, a match or a tennis match. I was going to ask you, so are yeah, you they, playing? <laughs> no, I'm just cheering them on <laughs> and meeting them. But it's fun because then you know, you know that they're, they're engaged and then you know, we're also engaged in, in, um, in the sports as well. And keeping yeah. people active. Right. That makes for a healthy lifestyle. Right. Um, and finally, I also took a clip from your newsletter, which mm -hmm. I'm sure is available to to anyone who wants a newsletter yes. from EBC Hawaii, um, but definitely promoting some of the um, community things that you do. Why don't you share with us? Sure. So the, um, the community care, you know, in, in lieu of, um, you know, the for uh, Christmas or holiday gifts, you know, we've decided that we're going to donate back. And um, this one here, the University of Hawaii uh, with Japsum, um, we donated to that you know, that fund for that. Um, we've done that before, even last year, the year before we did, we did another donation to another foundation. Um, and then the picture over there was, um, you know, staying healthy, got involved, got my son involved. Oh, we were, nice. Yeah, we were at a King's Run, so, you know, yeah. I, um, I commend you for, um, of course, your business success, but you're bringing that back and sharing that with the community and promoting healthy lifestyles. Um, I, I, I think it's just amazing that the service that you offer your yeah. clients and, you know, and to anyone who is interested in learning about mm -hmm. benefits. Um, we do have about a minute or so left. I'd love for you to share with, with our viewers um, where they can find you, um, social media, websites, sure. where can they find you? Where, where can they reach you, Joni? <laughs> okay, so we have our website, ebchawaii.com, and then we're also on Facebook. Twitter, and LinkedIn. So check us out at EBC Hawaii. Awesome. Um, unfortunately, we are out of time, but I wanted to thank you so much for joining us. Well, it's been you such too. a pleasure to have you. I also want to thank the amazing production staff here in the studio uh, for hosting us today. And if you would like to be a guest on our show, please feel free to email your information to shows at thinktechhawaii.com. Business in Hawaii airs every Thursday at 2 p.m. and we look forward to seeing you here next week.